Picture it, a serene fall day, gazing into the treetops. Breathe in, close your eyes, relax. Crack, a large green ball has fallen on your head, seemingly from nowhere. The globular assailant is probably a black walnut, perhaps hurled from the treetops by a hungry squirrel. Believe it or not, there is actually something edible inside the seemingly impenetrable outer husk, but opening it is no easy task. Peeling it, picking at it, and throwing it against the wall might not get you too far. The most common husking method is to roll it underfoot on a hard surface, with commercial huskers going as far as using car tires to roll it against metal. At the Nature Center, we use repurposed farming tools. The process can be a messy one, as the walnut leach is a dark, staining juice. In fact, the liquid is so successful at staining, it was used by early settlers to dye hair. To this day, the juice is still used to make a deep, raven ink used for dyeing and writing. Once you finally free the walnut from the husk, you still have to deal with the shell. These can be removed by cracking them open once the nut has cured for a bit. Finally, you've reached the walnut. These walnuts are a bit different than the ones you might be used to, with an earthier and more robust flavor. The uses of this tree go far beyond eating a few nuts for a quick boost of energy. The hard outer shell of the nut can be used commercially for a variety of things, including cosmetics, water filtration, and as an abrasive cleaner. The dark heavy wood of the tree is also sought after and has been used for generations to create anything from furniture, flooring, paddles, and beyond. We aren't the only creatures that benefit from these trees. Squirrels, raccoons, and even wild turkeys have been known to snack on the tasty walnuts. By eating and discarding them, these creatures help plant the next generation of trees to be enjoyed by humans and wildlife alike for years to come.